Hello, Auggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Katzler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Tonight's episode, uh, we're going to take a look at vertical antennas. Here's a question I got from an Auggie uh, by the name of Mike Oswald, uh, call sign KB7HFS. He says, Hi, Dave. First, I hope the ankle is healing well. It is, by the way. It's coming right along. He has some suggestions for me about making sure I get lots of exercise when it heals up. He's 80 years old now, and he's broken his ankle three times. Well, now for the question. No room for dipole antenna. I set up an old high-gain vertical years ago with radials and a good mount. Never a good performer. The last windstorm really did it a number. Looking at reviews on verticals, a butternut is too costly, so I'm considering the 5 or 6V Hustler, or maybe a newer version of the old high gain. What would you recommend or consider? Thank you for your great video. 73 from Mike Oswald. Well, let's take a look. Um, he has a number of alternatives. He already has a radial field in place and a mount. So he could take an antenna that uh, requires radials, or he could put in one that doesn't require radials. Now, uh, he said that the um, uh, butternut was too expensive. Okay, the butternut six or seven hundred dollars. So let's look in the two, three hundred dollar range and see what we can find for him. We're going to look on DX Engineering, and I want to also consider the DX Commander uh, antenna, which is sold only direct. Uh, you have to get it from England. Uh, the reason I include that one is because I have one. A lot of people like it. I don't have mine put up yet. It's out in the snow waiting for uh, <laughs> my ankle to heal so I can uh, do something with that antenna. So, um, Let's take a look at DX Engineering and see what we find. We're looking at DX Engineering, which is dxengineering.com. Okay, and um, what I did was search for antennas, and then I selected HF vertical antennas and packages, and the type I selected multiband resonant antennas. Okay, we've got... Uh, uh, these five or six, let's see, five, six, seven brands represented, okay. Um, I haven't selected any bands in particular or any height. Uh, the wind survival, it looks like there's quite a variety in here. Some parts of the country rarely see high winds. The highest wind I've ever recorded here is 57 miles an hour, and it can get very high. There are other places in Colorado where you can get extremely high winds. Antenna power rating, many of these are rated for full legal power. Uh, some aren't. Uh, as far as the antenna mount type, you can get a tilt or uh, that sort of thing like that. Mount operation can be a non-tilt mount or a single operator walk up or multi-operator walk-up. Uh, we're not going to consider that one. Uh, <clears throat> now, there's no um, place in here where it says needs radials or doesn't need radials. That would be a very nice uh, little thing that puts in here since, uh, as it turns out, uh, Mike already has a radial feed. So let's take a look at what we came up with. There are quite a few here. I'm going to go to 48 per page, so we've got everything on the page here. Here's the Hustler 6B TV, 6-band six HF vertical for $241.99. Now notice this is only $10 more than the 5-band vertical. Let's see what bands we get with this. Uh, this is the one that has 10... 15, 20, 30, 40, and 75 or 80 meters. You want, probably want to go the 75 if you want to actually talk to people. You're not going to have more than about 25 kilohertz of the 75 meter band, which is the phone portion of the 80 meter band. Or you could go with 80 meters if you want to get down at the bottom of the band, which is where you're going to find FT8. 
Okay, now um, it says that um, it radials really help. Um, read more here. Okay, broadband operation, uh, provide optimum performance, da 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 da. Okay, um, broadbanding, nominal 52 ohm base impedance, okay, um, and uh, so on. Um, it looks like a nice little antenna. By the way, these, these are quite popular. So uh, you can see the traps. It is a trapped dipole. Okay. Um, here's the five band right here, which probably doesn't have uh, the uh, 80 meter. Let's just check that. Uh, well, it does have 80, 10, 15, 24. It doesn't have 30. 30 is um, a CW only band. If you don't operate CW, it's not important to you, but you only save $10. Now here's the butternut HF9B. Look at the price on that, $604. Now it does have nine bands, including about 25 kilohertz uh, on 80 meters. Um, but uh, having had one, I will tell you it's a stinker to tune. Um, they do have better tuning instructions now than they used to. This is not a trapped vertical. Um, it has... Um, a bunch of uh, uh, little coils and things like that that help uh, tune it up for the band. It uh, will take you a while to put together. Here's the Hustler 4 BTV 4 band. Okay, a few dollars less. Well, I'd, I'd go with this one if you can come up with the 241. Um, now let's take a look at some of the others. Here's a 6 BTV in a package. And note that you get the antenna, plus you get a radial plate, plus a whole bunch of wire for radials, clamps, things like that, uh, little screws and so on. Uh, again, this, since you already have a radial field out there, you don't need to put in uh, more radials for that, I'm assuming. Now we get over here to the high gain. This antenna and this Cushcraft, both of which are made by MFJ, um, neither one of these needs radials. Now, the fact that you have radials, do you have to take them up? Uh, no, you don't, not at all. Uh, you can, uh, but you do want to get these antennas, get the base up about 10 feet in the air, okay? The radials underneath will actually help some, uh, give you better ground for this thing to work against. These are electrical half-wave verticals um, that are end-fed. Okay, and you see some counterpoises here on this one. Okay, here's the 640. I've heard lots of people say good things about these antennas, but look at the price. Okay, you're up in the region of that uh, butternut. Now here's a diamond antenna, five band trap vertical antenna. Let's just uh, take a look at what the bands are. 40, 20, 15, 10, and six. Okay, not, not bad bands for uh, what, what you're going to uh, uh, see, but uh, it is a, uh, this is 379. So that kind of puts it in that price range where it's a little bit less expensive. Here's the HF6V, which is a butternut, but it is pricey. The Cushcraft R8 is pricey. Here's the 14AVQ. Now this was my very first antenna back when I was a novice. 229. Um, that's an inexpensive one. I know they work because I've had one. 10, 15, 20, and 40. So here's your classic old ham bands here, nothing on 80. Um, 40, 20, 15, and 10. I know the antenna works. Um, now this does require the radial field. So you're gonna ground mount this antenna on your uh, radial field. Uh, here is the 5BTV with uh, all the goodies attached. Um, here's a diamond uh, six. Um, let's see, this is 75, 40, 20, 15, and 10. 
and six, and six meters. Six meters is going to come alive um, when the sunspots get going a little bit better. Okay, there's another one of their packages with lots of radials and everything. This one right here, the Hikane 18V, is a monster antenna. It's over a thousand dollars. It gives you a little bit on 80 as well as the 40 and stuff like that. I would not go for that. Uh, first of all, it's going to take several people to put up. You're going to need a tower foundation. This is going to be a very visible antenna. Now here's the 12 AVQ, which does not have 40. So you're going to have, let's see, all three bands. Is anywhere it tells us what the three bands are? Uh, 20, 15, and 10. Yeah, I wouldn't... I wouldn't go with that. You want 40 meters. You want to make sure you have 40 meters. Here's the 4BTV with all the goodies attached to it and so on. We can go down here. The Cushcraft R6000 6-band vertical, 479. Um, this is a, an antenna that does not require radials, but that means you need, you want, you need to try and get the uh, base up about 10 feet in the air. Here's the 18 AVQ, which has a few kilohertz available on 80 meters. Okay, uh, top loading coil for 80 meters. All right, um, but the problem is it does not give you all of 80 meters. None of these tell you that, but they don't. Um, here's a Cushcraft a six band restricted space vertical antenna. Uh, that's uh, shortened up electrically and another one that's shortened up electrically but look the price now goes up okay so let's go down here to this last one an MFJ tri-band vertical this is a weird looking thing uh, but it has um, uh, let's see 40 20 and 80 that's not enough for you to bother with I wouldn't I wouldn't go with that antenna. Here's a high gain um, HF vertical, uh, but around $500. Here's another one around $500. The AV620 um, gives you only 20 through um, 6 meters. Okay, so you don't get your 40. You need your 40. So out of all of these antennas, which one would I recommend? Well, the Hustler 6BTV is a good one. The uh, 14 AVQ is a good one. Those are probably the two out of there that I would recommend. Now let's go over and look at DX Commander, shall we? Um, let's see, that's DX Commander, and I'm just going to do a search on it and we're going to find okay it's at m0mcx.co.uk the dx commander antenna stores um right here will tell you about the dx commander okay um they're moving so let's see we want the dx commander uh, the classic, here it is right here, the classic, this one right here. This is the one that you would probably want to take. It actually is the equivalent of a fan dipole only vertical. Okay, and this does need radials. You want to put in lots of radials to go with this. But look at the price. Now this is, um, Let's see if we were to put one into the cart so we can get a, a U.S. Uh, 195, but that's pounds. So if we add that to the cart and then go look at the cart, where do we go to look at the cart? Um, 195 pounds. If we go to checkout and we want to go to... Um, Oh, golly, if we do a checkout now, it's not going to tell us what it is in dollars. Um, let's go up here and just do a little bit of 
195. How much is um, 195 pounds in U.S. dollars? 266. Okay, so it's comparable to the um, Hustler antennas. Um, it is a fan dipole, so therefore there's no traps or anything like that. So this might be something that you would want to consider uh, if you're looking at other antennas. So let's see if we can go back a little ways and get back to the uh, uh, DX. Um, uh, where were we? DX Engineering. Let me put this right over here. Okay, so you're, you're in the same price range as these right here. So I haven't put my DX Commander antenna together yet, so I can't really say whether they're good, but boy, have I sure heard a lot of good things about it. All right, there you have it. We took a look at kind of a survey of some of the less expensive HF vertical antennas uh, that um, Mike was looking at to replace his uh, antenna that was uh, downed by the wind and destroyed by the wind. And he has a radial field already. Now the radial field does not mean that he needs to do a ground mounted antenna that needs radials. He can also put in one of the radialless antennas and the radial field underneath will actually help it perform a little bit better. But you want to get the radialless antennas up about 10 feet off the ground, which means you're going to need to put up a mast. Um, and like uh, you can use a piece of uh, chain link fence top rail that you can get at Home Depot or Lowe's. And guy it. You will need to guy it. Uh, you can just use rope to guy it and uh, put up whatever antenna you want. The radialist antennas tend to be more expensive so we looked at three possible antennas, the Hustlers, I'd go with the 6BTV rather than just the 5 because uh, it's only $10 more at DX Engineering. And, or the 14AVQ or the DX Commander are the ones that I would look at. So there you go, Mike. I hope that was helpful for you. And uh, if uh, you guys would like to help support this channel financially, you can go to uh, dcastler.com slash support and look for various ways to do that. Uh, I would ask you to do something that's totally free and that is subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I'm getting uh, all of the sudden a lot more subscribers so why don't you join uh, the crowd there and uh, see if we can't push this up over a hundred thousand which is where YouTube really starts to take notice. So until we next meet 73.